Hello, my name's Chris Baldwin, I'm the uh, developer of eSale. Hi, and I'm uh, Rob Atkinson, and uh, I'm a qualified RYAD instructor. And a whale has just come across our DC. <laughs> That was a nice bit of timing, wasn't it? We didn't, we didn't plan that. Um, we're going to just show you the uh, quick start module of eSale and just walk you through it, just so you can get a bit of an idea of uh, how it works. So I'll just um, restart. Oh my gosh, look, there he is, brushing over there. You don't often see them, so it's um, uh, we're quite lucky to see that, actually. Um, don't expect to see that if you go into the quick start. We've just been sitting here um, for a few minutes um, having a bit of a, a run through, so um, it's just fortuitous we've got a bit of uh, wildlife has come onto the screen. Um, so the way we've got it set up is that um, Rob's got a, a Thrustmaster uh, steering wheel controller put on, so he's going to do the steering, um, I'm going to do the other controls and we'll see, but it's quite fun um, to actually do it that way. Um, two people actually on the controls at the same time. Kind of get a bit confused in the ball booths. <laughs> Undoubtedly. <laughs> we'll see what happens. So I'm just going to start the, uh, the tutorial here. Welcome to this quick start tutorial. Keep your boat heading east. You can use the autopilot. Okay, so should we go for that? It's close enough, isn't it? I'll stick the autopilot. I'm going to make me totally redundant. Make you redundant. <laughs> Yeah, why are you here? <laughs> Try out the various e-sail controls. You can hover over controls for details. Actually, just to give you something to do, why don't we turn that off? It's a bit irritating a bit. Okay, there we go. So basically, this, as it's a quick start, it doesn't take you through all the um, controls directly. It just gives you the opportunity to go through and try them out yourself. So we won't sort of bother with too much about the uh, exact controls on there. Obviously we've got um, a compass wind indicator down here which we'll be using as we go along. See below for important keyboard shortcuts. Okay, one of the um, useful things to use is the N and the B for actually progressing through the tutorial here. Um, so I'll use those as we go along. In this tutorial, first you will start by sailing east, then tack. You will then sail back west and jive. And this was actually sort of inspired a little bit by something you told me. Is that you get people to go to go, do a tack. Uh, a figure eight. A yeah. figure of eight. Mm. Well, we don't particularly. We haven't actually got any boys because because it is a um, you know for beginners. I didn't. And sure, somebody, yeah. Some people might take longer than others. So, mm -hmm. um, in this case, we've just in the sea, nothing to go round. But it's the same. Thing. Start by trimming the jib. Click on the button shown to see the telltales. We're not doing that, are we? Not. <laughs> Tell us about the telltales. Okay. Well, this is a really useful thing because actually, rather, this is telling you whether the sails are set correctly or not. So, if we just trim uh, the head swing, this... Okay, I'll just take it through here. Click on the aft starboard winch. Okay. Select the winch handle and grind in the jib sheet by dragging down on the drag spot until the jib telltales are roughly horizontal. Use the tooltips to find your way around the controls. I can never remember each of the telltales on the jib. We've got the, um, the red and the on the green. Yeah. If one of them is flapping it means to go in one direction, sure. doesn't it? So what it's telling you is is whether the airflow around the sail is breaking down and which side the airflow is breaking down on. So very simply, if the sail is flapping, if the telltale on the inside of the sail is flapping, then we need to pull the sail in more. And if the sail telltale on the outside of the sail is flapping, you need to let it out more. Okay. Uh, and really, you do one or the other and, until both telltales are, are um, flying evenly. Okay. So in this case, obviously the sail is, is flogging quite a bit, so we need to put it in quite a lot. You see, as we come in nice and slow, we just stop there, Chris. You should see one of them is flying it's still a, bit far a little bit more. Keep coming in. But we'll see that one of them starts to fly and then we'll just have one of them flat. 
it should be. Let's hold on and just let's flap on a little bit. But, what is that? Uh, I think we're in a reach now. Well, it is actually, it's not horizontal. Well, yeah, sure. we've probably gone a bit too far, I don't know. So then it's going to flow up because what you're getting is flow coming up in the, um, up across the sail and it's going to have a slight upwards movement. Well, that's about um, slightly just to see. Because it has some, uh, uh, it, it's coming up off the boat and across yeah. the sail. There you can see it. Well. There you go. So they're now both now set nicely and you can see our speeds increase dramatically. What are we doing so now? Six knots, not bad, with the uh, main side. That's pretty good. Still out there, isn't it? Okay, I'll carry on. Now, for even more speed, trim the main side. Click on the forward port winch. Select the handle and grind in the main sheet until the mainsail telltales are flying horizontally. And we've got the um, mainsail one on here. Sure. Let's just have so a look. Actually, they're not that bad. Yeah. We need to so again, we've only got one telltale on this rather than one each side. And so what we're looking for really is which side of the sail that telltale is leaning towards. So it's probably, it's it's a little bit, uh, it's leaning toward the other side of the sail. So we could do with just pulling the sail in a little bit. Yeah. Okay. So, oh. and, and you might see that it actually comes a little bit more. Just turn the wheel over the thing. Oh, sorry. So, uh, we've lost the um, the jib a little bit now. Yeah, I think that's just because I've come off the wind. So. Okay. I bet you what's happened is we're not. Oh, we are pretty much east. Yeah. Yeah. So I think you can see now. Probably if you look at those telltales at the back, they're actually flying straight out from the back of the sail more, whereas yeah. previously they were going slightly to the right. So in this instance, if they're flying away from you, again, if they're fluttering to the other side of the sail, then you want to let the sail out, uh, and, and vice versa, um, bring it in a bit. And of course now we've actually, um, the jib is, it's not quite right, is it? So, not quite. so we want to go, we want to let that uh, uh, in. Come in, with come in. I mean, none of this really matters in terms of this exercise of um, attack etc but it's quite nice just to see what we there we go get to the pretty good something like it isn't it okay should we move on if you need to release the main sheet wrap two windings around the winch then open the main sheet jammer you will now be able to drag up on the drag spot don't forget to close the jammer once you finish Okay, I'll just um, demonstrate it, just, uh, just so you can see. It. It's slow now. We want to do 6.5, so if we actually... Oh, need to release the jammer. Yeah. <laughs> Obvious things, really. Need to read your own tutorial. Yeah, exactly. <gasps> so, let's, let's go out a bit. Into, yeah, now the speed is beginning to drop a bit. Okay, close the jammer. Yep. Prepare for attack by bringing both crew members to the aft winches. You can click twice on a winch to summon a crew member. Who is that pinning? Is that you? <laughs> oh, unprofessional. It is, isn't it? Okay, so we've got both of our crew on the aft winches. Once you have adjusted the port jib sheet, jam it into the self tailing mechanism. Port jib sheet? We haven't tacked yet, I think. Oh, if we... This is talking about after tacking. Round two windings of the jib sheet oh, sorry. around each aft winch. It was your phone. When you're ready, <laughs> turn to the port and head back west. As the bow goes up in the wind, pull on the yep. port jib sheet. On there. That for tacking. Okay, turn to the port and yeah. I'm, I'm going to pull on this one as we go round. Yeah. Do you want to give me the command when you're ready? Ready about? Yep. Yes, skipper. Helms a lee. There you go. Round we come. Got a big tack. 
Yep. All the way round the way. 480 degrees. Yep. Back to the way we were coming. Yeah, and we probably want to release that jib a little bit now as well. Yeah. It's always good to pull the jib in a little bit too much to start with because it's much easier to let a bit out than have to stop and put the uh, put the grinding handle on. Yes, one thing that you don't really see very much when you say is actually how much slack there is in the, uh, the lens and jib sheet or whatever you want to call it, the one that's not working. Um, but if you um, always, when you're ready to tack, if you always pull in whatever slack there is in readiness, mm -hmm. um, I mean, I guess it's the same if you really want to do a good tack. No, actually, really. You pull it in as far as you can and then when you go, you don't have all this slack to yeah. take up. And it is the same thing, you don't really see the slack very much. I think if you pull in as much as you can through the tack while the sail is flogging, yeah. then uh, you don't, you're not having to pull the sail against the full force of the wind on it. Yeah. It just makes life a lot easier. So, we're not too good. Okay, so... Once you have adjusted the port jib, jam it into the cell tailing mechanism. That's where I got to. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what was going on there, it seemed a bit odd. Now it all makes sense. When you're ready, prepare to jive by centering the mainsail boom. So grind in the main jib. We need the handle because uh, we're going to be pulling against quite a lot of wind. Just a note on this, um, when you're dragging in e-sail, um, it's the same when you, you look around, just to, to demonstrate, you'll see it says drag and hold. And if you just hold your mouse down like that, it's quite useful because you can get a nice steady pan without having to sort of keep on dragging and dragging. It's the same with this, when you drag, you just drag down and hold. If you just drag down a little bit, it goes quite slowly, and if you drag down a lot, it goes fast, so you've got quite a lot of control there. Okay, we're in. Okay, so we're just bearing away, so we're going dead downwind. So, just Make sure it. both crew are at the aft windshield, with two windings around each winch. Okay. When you're ready, turn to the port and head back east. As the stern comes through the wind, Pull on the starboard jib sheet. So just so people understand, we're, we're centering the main sheet despite the fact we're going downwind because what we're trying to avoid is doing a, a crash jibe, which uh, apart from damaging the boat, uh, the likelihood of damaging the boat has a, a quite a high risk of damaging one of the crew members as well. So we're now dead downwind. <laughs> We've done a so jibe. So, that's jibe. <laughs> so ideally what we should be doing is trying to uh, cross the jib first and goose wing it. So if you can pull across now, Chris. Um, hang on, which one am I putting? So you're putting on the starboard winch. So we're pulling it all the way in, just to allow it to come across. So now we want to head back to the east. Okay. So we just head up. Lost quite a bit of speed in that yeah. manoeuvre, but we didn't actually do it that brilliantly. <laughs> Well, I think the main thing probably is in the, the reality is that if you were going to jive, you'd probably be heading downwind before you centred the main sheet. That's the best of Yeah. Reaching the okay. For more details on safe tacking and jiving, see the Learn Yachting with eSail tutorials. You have completed this quick start tutorial. So that's basically it. That, that takes you really through two of the main manoeuvres, the um, tacking and jiving. Once you actually get into the exercises and the live sailing mode, um, where you can go wherever you want, um, there's also a, an auto sail feature which will set up a boat for you and do those operations. You have to steer the boat and that's about it. So it makes it quite nice and easy. But one thing to remember on the auto sail, it does say when you use it, 
is that it doesn't know when you're going to die. So basically, you have to. It's reasonable. Really you, you've got to bring the uh, um, the main main sail into the centre before you uh, uh, let the auto sail uh, do its work. Otherwise, it's just going to whack across. And it's quite. I mean, it's quite fun on here to try out, but uh, in real life, it wouldn't be too good. So um, that's it. Thank you very much for that. I think we're done. And uh, look forward to seeing you on uh, one of our other um, little um, uh, video exercises. So uh, take care and goodbye, please. Thank you.